Hello everyone, and welcome to another vlog. As you can see right behind me, I'm at the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. And we're just going to walk through the gardens during the daytime to see what they have set up for Halloween this year. So come along with me and we'll see how spooky it is. All right, and when you even first enter the area, the house, like the ticket booth, they have these jack-o'-lanterns added to the gate area. Let you know it's Halloween. So, of course, the Winchester Mystery House has a lot of ghost lore behind it, so it's a big time for it uh, with Halloween up ahead. They kind of change up what they offer every year, and this year is living up to that as well. Um, sometimes they do projections on the house that are Halloween related. Uh, we'll walk around and see. Alright, so looking at the house this way, just going through, um, there's actually a tour group up ahead that's doing like a, I think basement tour or something. Um, but even in the grounds, it looks like they set up a lot of food areas and still some of the projections and lights going on to the mansion itself. Uh, and then there's more stuff up ahead too. Now this year they've also added a Halloween museum uh, that I saw. So we're going to see if that's open, if that's around, see what's inside. But it looked pretty cool and I think you can just access it for free. So I'm going to go look for that now. On top of also just showing you what's in the garden for Halloween. So as we continue to go through the mansion, it looks like there's a big setup of a screen of some kind. So they're also doing some kind of stage screen thing this year. Uh, on top of all the light things they've set up. Unsurprisingly, most of these festivities are at night. So that's why not much action going on during the daytime over here. But nonetheless, still a lot of people coming for tours and uh, walking around. Too. I was going to say including me, but I'm not, I'm not going on the tour. We're just going to try to see what they have uh, for Halloween this year, what the setup is. But, of course, more of the classic Winchester Mystery House itself. Um, we'll go through and see. Oh, this door's kind of set up for something. Okay, I actually made it into the haunted ballroom, too. Just kidding. Still outside. Just a photo op. Looks kind of real. Not really. They also set up this uh, ghost game, it looks like. Alright, we'll start walking up the back area now. Um, so you can see it's just uh, uh, some things set up here, including uh, Scarecrow, classic Halloween thing. This one's actually pretty, pretty scary. Very tall, at least. <laughs> um, a few walking through, see if we can see anything else. Oh, that was interesting. One thing that they um, usually do is have this carriage, I believe, inside the mansion when you first start the tour. But here it is sitting out here, looking ghostly and haunted, just as it is. I mean, it looks like they set up a fake cemetery in this area. Let's see if I can get in anywhere. I don't think I think there's anywhere I can get in. Nope. Locked that way. It looks like it's part of a maze that they're setting up or something. I don't know. They have this covering uh, overhead. Let's see if I see anything. No, it looks like just a uh, dead end. Pun intended. Laughing at my own joke. All right, let's go ahead and step outside here. See if there's anything else to see. Again, too bad. It'd be interesting to see what they have set up over here, but no way to actually get in. But hey, pumpkin. There you go. Halloween-esque. Uh, walking through here, I'm not really seeing much else, actually. Uh, kind of status quo. So let's see. Let's step back and see what else they have. 
One thing I didn't realize as I walked past the scarecrow is the barrels that they have next to it are jack-o'-lantern shaped. That's pretty good. All right, walking through this area to see if there's anything else to see on this side, other than the restrooms, looks like no. <laughs> um, again, all of this is closed off, so no way to see what they have in here. Just peek through this way. Again, more of that kind of fake cemetery that they've set up, but locked, locked out is the best view I can get. So there you go. Something is back there. All right, let's see what else. But one thing with the maze, I didn't realize until I walked back in, is they have this uh, kind of face you go through. That's pretty good. But yeah, okay, I think another attempt looking around, but all, all the same here. So that takes care of this area. They have this uh, Hamlet. Pretty sure it's Hamlet statue in this area. I'm guessing for a broader theme, but nonetheless, there it is. And this garden area, uh, they have actually looks like more set up over here. Of course, giant pumpkin can't go wrong with that for Halloween. Uh, let's see what else they have. A lot of nice plants. I'll say that. Oh, that's interesting too. The skeleton with the what is it, on the knife wheel thing? Kind of interesting. They have scarecrows, of course, more scarecrows set up back here. Let's see if there's anything else walking around. Oh, I guess you could take your picture in this old school uh, retro Halloween cat thing. Picture opportunity. And then uh, we'll go check the stables out in a little bit. See how stable it is. Won't use that joke again. All right, so then they have this like old school kind of fair thing. <laughs> what is this called? Like wagon with the uh, Winchester Mystery House unhinged housewarming sign. That's the theme for this year. Again, more tents set up for the events that they'll have. Another look at the scarecrows. Another old school retro Halloween owl. And a sign for the human spider that you can put your, your head in. Clever. And we'll go ahead into the stable area. Stables, I should say. You see people climbing the steps up. The twisting steps of the house. It'd be fun to knock on the window and scare them. But nonetheless, here is the stable. I hear horse noises in here. I guess this room isn't very stable. And then they even have within the stable itself this, um, aside from the, the noises, like, like I said, you can hear the, the horses, it's like the ghosts of the horses. Uh, this picture of what the house looked like originally when Sarah Winchester had it as a farmhouse. This, this is the start of the Winchester Mystery House. Unknown person on a horse, at least they didn't label that picture or anything, but uh, a little big thunder mask in this room with the flashing lanterns. Of course, another Disneyland reference. And then this area always is interesting to me. I like their shooting gallery area. I've shown this before, but it looks very, uh, it's well done. Very haunted looking. They've got a uh, theming specifically with the Winchester rifles and then just overall good creepy vibe for the shooting gallery. And lo and behold, here is their new Halloween museum. Stepping inside, you can see all these uh, pumpkins and kind of light up figures from the past that you can put on your porch. Ghosts, of course. Ghosts and pumpkins. Ooh, they have the um, McDonald's Halloween buckets on the top there. That's... I used to have those. Why did I get rid of those? And then a lot of um, Halloween books, including I used to have In a Dark, Dark Room and that Haunted House book. Um, but all the... Oh, scary stories. All the things from the past. 
and then some toys uh, from all over the place. The Spates Motel sign looks pretty cool. Some some board games, trick or treat bowls, uh, different uh, kind of toy shelf items of Universal monsters, uh, monsters, more Halloween buckets at the top here. Take your pick between the pumpkins and the ghosts and the cat. Uh, tons of books over here, and even albums. Very cool. They also have this uh, Frankenstein picture and some more uh, kind of more rock albums. You can continue going through this room and old school Halloween decorations like they have outside. Kind of that look. This is pretty cool that they've done this and that there's all these vintage and even recent Halloween items. Pretty cool that they made a Halloween museum inside a little part maybe of the house. I'm not sure, but pretty cool. All right, continuing to go through this area. By the way, this area where they put the museum is new, at least in terms of, um, I don't think you usually go through these rooms. They, they kind of made this its own thing. And then more kind of um, candy and party type of things, old school decorations there. This is very creepy in its own way. These old scarecrow or clown costumes, I guess they're clowns. That's creepy. And then very old books and candy and kind of going further in the past. A lot of pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns here. We have a Three Musketeers box, old waffles, pumpkin waffles, old. Uh, yeah, look at these old party favors. Very jack-o'-lantern themed in here. Yeah, all these more pumpkins with almost human faces, kind of scary. And then more up close, some of the. Uh, other uh, pumpkin things they have, and then I don't know. This room's just interesting. So, what room is this? It's with this little little door. I'm for being in this part of the house, but it's free right now. So there you go. Pretty good. They put this together. All right. Well, that was the quick little tour of the Winchester Gardens during Halloween time. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. No ghost scene this time. What can you do? Uh, but I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.